At the conclusion of the fourth International Small Island Developing State Conference, 65 member states, including Trinidad and Tobago, are expected to adopt the Antigua and Barbuda Agenda for SIDS. This plan outlines actionable goals to be achieved over the next 10 years as SIDS seeks to chart a course towards resilient prosperity. However, will this plan follow the part of the three previous similar plans that failed to meet their objectives? Find out in this report from Candidate. Jackson, who is in Antigua and Barbuda covering the SIDS4 conference. The SIDS4 conference is being touted as the last opportunity to ensure small island developing states get climate justice and build climate resilience in a world where SIDS are most affected by climate change yet contribute the least to carbon emissions which cause climate change. As a result, a 10-year action plan was developed called Antigua and Barbuda for SIDS Abbas. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Agriculture, Trade and Barbuda Affairs for Antigua and Barbuda, Paul Chet Green outlined it as a practical and actionable plan. This means building infrastructure that can withstand climate impacts, diversifying our economies to reduce vulnerability, finding sustainable ways to manage our debt and improve healthcare systems to handle pandemics better. It is hoped that Abbas is adopted by all SIDS governments, which includes Trinidad and Tobago, along with civil society and the private sector. But what happens if we are not able to achieve that 10-point plan? Three similar previous plans were adopted by such conferences, such as the Bridgetown Initiative, the Mauritius Initiative, and the Samoa Initiative. All three fell short of their targets. But Lee Juna, Secretary General of the conference and UN Undersecretary General for Economic and Social Affairs, believes this time it is different because it might be the last opportunity for getting it right and, though ambitious, it is a practical workshop. This uh, Abbas symbolizes the strong political commitment from the whole United Nations and it also involved with the whole UN system. In addition to the member states' efforts, the UN is going to establish upon the request by CIS and also endorsed by the member states as a whole. While Minister Green took the stance of optimism. And so what's required in this occasion is for SIDS to approach this process, this 10-point 10, um, 10 plan, with a difference. He called for all citizens of SIDS, advocacy groups, and the media to positively support the plan. While Raham Fatima, special advisor on the conference and UN High Representative for Small Island Developing States, said the difference with the Abbas plan is that it has the support of the private sector. They're serious. They mean business. These are the businesses. So they are very taking very seriously the new program of action because they see concrete actions and commitments to take forward. There is business there for them. The CIS4 conference concludes on Thursday 30th May. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.